today what we are going to do is this is to delete all the ODB accounts in bulk all the OneDrive accounts will be deleting in bulk with the use of PowerShell script okay so I'm going to demonstrate how in the PowerShell we are going to do that Okay. So first is that we will be deleting all the one drives. After that, we will see selected one drives also how we can delete that. So this is the script. Now, let, let us go to the environment first. So this is uh, the tenant. We have a trial tenant available with three users. As you can see, so all these three users, one drive will be deleted. I've opened two one drives to show you. One is called my foos, right? And there is one more one drive cloud user one so you can see a word file one drive two and here one drive one a word file just to show you that two one drives as you can see this is the name this is kind of foos one drive this is cloud user one one drive so once we run the script this two one drive should be deleted and we should not be able to access it okay now going back to the script so in the script connect dash spo service connect dash spo uh, url right you would have to download the module for sharepoint online or the download the powershell of sharepoint directly once you have the module you can connect to using connect dash spo service so here we will have our tenant domain so what is happening is dollar one drive urls so this is a variable this is a variable in this variable we are keeping get dash spo site so this will get all the sharepoint sites including the sharepoint sites and the one drive site so in that we are including the personal site dollar true limit filter limit all filter urls on the basis of like so the urls should be how dash my dot sharepoint dot com forward slash personal forward slash so this is nothing but this is your one drive jewels sharepoint url does not have dash my and personal in it so all the urls in that it will filter with this and from the sharepoint and the one drive urls only the one drive urls will be left then we will use a for each loop to iterate all the wonder URLs that we have so dollar wonder URL in dollar wonder URLs with an S so if you see the difference is S is available here and there is no S here so we've kept the variable with the S so all the wonder URLs are with the S so it will pick the first one drive in that iteration the bracket is opening here what it will do is remove one drive site so the command for that is remove dash spo site dash identity dollar one drive url dot url so dollar one drive url that is the first url that is picked from that it will take dollar one drive url dot url it will take the url and will remove the site and then write host remove dollar one drive url dot url so uh, everything is in place let's just run it okay so i am running this with the global admin
Are you sure you are not perform this action? Performing the operation on this site, right? So this is the confirm and is going to ask for each and every vendor that it finds, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to suspend, okay? And we are going to add a parameter that is dash confirm in front of remove dash SPO site so that it does not ask us for confirmation for all one race dash confirm on parameter dollar false so that it doesn't ask for confirmation before deleting each site see it's removed the remaining two sites out of the three sites without asking for confirm parameter now let us check this is the one drive UI before that one. Now, if you go to the one drive for that user, it says the specific list is invalid. Go back, we are getting error, right and same we're getting the error right if we go to the powershell now get dash sp reduce side include personal sites so if you can see all the three OneDrive sites are into the deleted sites okay now if you want to restore them then you can use the command uh, restore dash spo deleted sites and those sites will be restored so let's do one thing let's restore them they're not permanently deleted for us to re permanently delete them after this command you need to remove remove dash sp delete site okay so first thing what we'll do is let's restore these sites okay So in this script itself, I'm going to make some changes to restore all the deleted sites. Okay. Get dash SPO deleted sites. And since we are already connected to the tenant, let's get rid of this as well. Let's run this now. Restore SPO deleted sites. Okay, 
so it says remove because this right horse is still written as removed but i think we should have our one right back with the word file here it is